Hey Dragon Slayers! Today's video is about how fasting doesn't deprive the body of nutrients. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps the channel out. Let's get started! There are two main types of nutrients, micronutrients and macronutrients. Micronutrients are vitamins and minerals that are provided by the diet and are required for overall health. Macronutrients are proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. Micronutrient deficiency is rare in the developed world. With shorter fasting periods of less than 24 hours, there is ample opportunity before and after the fast to eat nutrient-dense foods to make up for missed meals. For longer fasts, it is a good idea to take a general multivitamin. The longest fast recorded lasted 382 days, and a simple multivitamin prevented any vitamin deficiencies. Of the three, it is... Of the three major macronutrients, there are no essential carbohydrates that the body needs to function, so it is impossible to become carbohydrate deficient. However, there are certain proteins and fats that we have to get in our diet. These are called essential amino acids, which are the building blocks of proteins and essential fatty acids. These cannot be manufactured by the body and must be obtained in the diet. The body normally loses both essential amino acids and essential fatty acids in urine and stool. During fasting, it reduces these losses to hang on to much of the necessary nutrients. Bowel movements usually decrease during fasting. Since no food is going into the stomach, but there is, less, there is less stool formation. And this helps to prevent loss of protein in the stool. Essential nutrients, particularly nitrogen, can be lost through the urine. Nitrogen in the urine is a sign of protein metabolism. And as protein metabolism decreases during fasting, nitrogen in the urine decreases significantly almost to negligible levels. To further preserve proteins, the body breaks down old proteins into their component amino acids and recycles these into new proteins. By keeping essential nutrients in the body instead of excreting them, the body is able to recycle many of them during fasting. Of course, no matter how good the body is at compensating fasting means we're not consuming essential fatty acids and amino acids. Before and after fasting, it can be helpful to follow a low-carbohydrate diet, which increases the percentage of fats and proteins consumed, so the body has more stored up for a rainy day. Children, pregnant women, and breastfeeding women have a greater need for nutrients than others. In these situations, Recycling old proteins and fats isn't enough. New ones are needed to grow and build tissue. For those people, fasting is not a good option. So that's what I've got for you guys today. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps the channel out. And remember guys, that together, you and I will slay the dreaded diabetes dragon.